Wee oui, wee, oui, bonjour, le, le bonjour nose. That's what Pete says. Hot pockets. <laughs> and, all, and all that good shit. Welcome to Virginia. What's good? Episode 17. I was going to say 16, but I forgot we had shot that one already. <laughs> How y'all doing out there in S Town? One day we're going to be up to like 127, 130. <sighs> one day. One day. I ain't that far away. Shit, I didn't think we'd get this far. Yeah, I know. It's only been about six, seven months. Six, cons- um, consistency is the key. And y'all can see yeah. we've been giving it to y'all, you know what I'm saying, consistently. I gotta, gotta strike a pose every now and then for the... You gotta get that money pick that goes good on the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, on the YouTube uh, thumbnail. thumbnail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For real. What's going on out there? What's good with you? <clears throat> oh, you know, I just... Nothing much, really. I just go to work when I want to, and uh, trying to plan out these wonderful podcasts. And not, you know, I don't, I don't really do much else besides that. I try to keep things low key and quiet for the most part because um, it's like there's a quote from American Gangster: "The loudest one in the room is the weakest one in the room." And I've always remembered that. And you know, kind of what that means to me is um, if you're out here talking a lot of shit making a lot of dumbass noise and just being obnoxious, then it means you feel like you have something to prove to everybody else. Can't be working that hard if you exactly. gotta, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like you gotta let it come naturally. Exactly. So, yeah. But anyway, this episode, we're gonna dedicate to our local businesses in S-Town, Virginia. Exactly. And first and foremost, I want to shout out the homie Jimmy G. Shy, Trey Gray Turner, hooking me up with the fresh trucker hat, Virginia Hell joints. Yeah. I was looking for a Virginia hat, and I was going to go online and just buy me some new eras like I've been doing. Mm-hmm. And I saw the post on Facebook, and I was like, shit, that's what's up. He was right down the way, so I caught me a couple of these, and you know what I'm saying? It's kind of cold to be wearing one a day because it's mesh and it's right. trucker, but you know what I'm saying? I had to do it for the, for the flick. But I'm going to say these joints for like the summertime or the spring when it starts getting warmer, you know? For real, I like how the uh, the Virginia, you know, it, it's like the shape of Virginia. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's dope. So make sure y'all go out there and support the homie and anybody else doing anything. Also, next up, we got the homegirl Diana Johnson, who mm-hmm. I had the pleasure of going to school with. Grew up with her here in Stanton. Yeah. She hooked me up with some handmade with love. All over butter, Ooh. made with organic mm. cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, and olive oil. Oh, I love the smell of cocoa you know what butter. Saying? It's real, real good smell. Oh, it smells Ooh. amazing. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So my me, I have terrible skin because of my Steven Johnsons and all that. Everybody know I was burnt to a crisp, so I can't really use certain stuff. I gotta use unscented stuff and stuff like that. But this is all natural, with not without all those harsh chemicals and stuff. So I, I can actually use this on my face. And I've never been able to put nothing on my face. Damn. So this is the first time I've been putting some of them, and it, and it works really good. And my daughter has really bad eczema, so uh, I got her one, too, and it's, it's working well for her. So shout out to Diana Johnson, man. Yeah. We appreciate you. We'll be buying some more. Shout out to Jimmy G. Shot. And also, we would like to get... Um, an interview with um, local business owners. Oh, yeah. I definitely want to reach out to Danny Motes. Anybody who listening to the podcast as we speak, when this drops, make sure y'all hit him up and let him know that we want to uh, reach out to him. Danny Motes, the barber, we'd like to do an interview with you and talk about your journey, as well as my sister, um, uh, Lynn Ellis, who owns her own uh, was it creative expressions? I yeah. hope I'm not mm-hmm. saying the wrong name because I yeah. definitely don't remember. But I love you, and we would like to get an interview with you and talk about your journey as well with making uh, wedding gowns and oh, for sure, you know for sure. stuff like that Hell for people yeah. in in the area. Um, Big Red Barbecue, with the best barbecue mm-hmm. in the city. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Oh, Shout yes. out to the homie Charlie. We'd like to get up with you as well. You know what I'm saying? There's a couple uh, other people like Janelle Oregon and the girl V Braid that does my daughter's hair. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I would like to get okay. up with those folks. Not to talk too much because I know you got no, a lot to say. Good. So. I yeah, no, said my piece. <laughs> I know I talk too much in these episodes. I'll be catching myself. Like, I'll be, even when you start talking, I, I end up jumping in sometimes. Well, see, so. that's the beauty of being an audio engineer. I can just cut your yeah. talking. <laughs> <laughs> but For no, not, 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 seriously, though, like this, 
is a podcast called Welcome to Virginia, so that's what we're trying to do. Not mm-hmm. necessarily welcome people here. I mean, we can do that too, but we're just trying to exemplify and basically show off everything that is wonderful about our little slice yeah, of because when we say heaven, see, I'm doing it again, cutting you off. <laughs> see, when we say welcome to Virginia, we're basically wanting other people to see. You know, like this is what we have here. This is what we're doing here. Exactly. So that's I mean, why it's, it's, it's important for us to pinpoint, you know, our local businesses and our artists and entrepreneurs and such. Like, look at this beautiful background we have behind us. I mean, it's it might not look beautiful right now in the winter time because it's like January 30th today, I believe. But, you know, summertime hits, that fucking sun is shining across the trees. It's, it's you know, we, we got a lot of natural beauty here. And, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty fucking beautiful myself, too. Not so. to mention, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> if I do say so myself, you know what I'm saying? So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, <clears throat> uh, and I, I've been noticing on Facebook and other sites, like, Everybody making posts like you got people that want to come from everywhere. They live in these big cities mm-hmm. and, and states, and they everybody wants to come to to stay in Virginia. Oh yeah, and I never got it when I was younger because when you're young, you always want to get the hell out of here. You want to do here, travel, da da da. But when you've lived that city life, a place like this is ideal because it's, it's it has everything you need. It's beautiful and, and it's calm mm-hmm. and re- laid back and it's you know relaxing a, a place to be. So I mean, you I, know, I get it. We don't we don't have a lot of uh gang violence here i mean we you know we everywhere has crime that's a given that's just human nature but you know we we don't have constant violence you don't have to ride around fearing for your life or just being afraid you're gonna get carjacked sitting in downtown stanton not unless you you live that kind of life and you got people looking for you exactly yep Speaking mm-hmm. of crime, I would be remiss if I didn't speak on the uh, the latest in the news. That's uh, the, the the black man Tyree Nichols, mm-hmm. who was attacked and killed by five black police officers in Memphis. God damn! I haven't now, heard about this. It's terrible because for one, like when I first seen it, I thought it was just police doing what police do, yeah. beating the hell out of somebody and then ending up in a tragedy. <laughs> but I also heard that. Um, allegedly, he was sleeping with one of those police officers' wives. And that's why it happened. Because when the, the stop happened, they tried to say that um, he was recklessly driving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But footage shows he did, he wasn't reckless driving or any of that stuff. Yeah. They didn't ask for his uh, identification or any uh, his registration, none of that stuff. They just jerked him out the car. What the fuck? And... and Commenced to whooping on his ass. So, you know what I mean? He tried to run away. Like, I would have too, because he obviously knew yeah. something was up. Yeah, he yeah. tried to run. And they're just going to say, oh, he was resisting arrest. You know, that, well, that, yeah, just, that's just going to make it worse. Fucking two, two situations here. They're going to make an example out of these. For one, it's the police. Mm-hmm. And they got it all on camera. Yeah. Two, these is black police. So they really going to make an example out of y'all niggas. Because y'all always want to come down on the police. Yep. As black folks, we always want to say the police did this and did that, which they have been doing. But now that it's black police, they're going to push for us to have that same energy. Oh, yeah. And they're going to make an example out oh, of it. Oh, yeah. Because mm-hmm. for me... Whether it's white uh, police or black police, it don't make no damn difference. If you're yeah. doing wrong, you need to be uh, held accountable for exactly, it. Exactly, so. yep. I mean, you know, we can sit here and scream, fuck the police all day. And I will. And yeah, oh yeah, I will too. <laughs> but, you know, uh, it comes down to right or wrong. Like, you know, if, if you're using your power to do good and you're out here helping getting kittens out of the tree or whatever bullshit they do, you know, I don't fucking know. I don't follow that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I can say, you know, I can applaud that. But if, yeah, harassment, don't matter what color you are, or what what's what you look like, any of that. It's just, it's fucked up. It's not right. I know, I remember, I, I remember growing up, I didn't even realize we was getting harassed by the police. Like, mm-hmm. I remember just chilling with my friends yeah. and the police just riding by slow, shining the light all in our face. Yeah. Or asking mm-hmm. us why we were out here and what we were doing and things <clears> like that. <throat> like, just for no reason. Like, it was a crime. Was, especially yeah. not then, it wasn't a crime to, to hang out on your block or chill or do anything like that. Yeah. Eventually, they did make it a law to where you couldn't be in a group and stand in certain areas and things yeah. like that. But, yeah, I mean, it's, just, it's, it's a sad situation when a mother has to get a phone call saying that her her son or her daughter is yep. dead, yep. somebody who didn't live a life of crime, you know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah, it's bad enough yeah. when you know your child is in that 
in that lifestyle. But when they not even living that life and, and they got to die by the hands of not even another person doing that type of thing, but somebody who's supposed to be serving and protecting the community. And then, and then you have, uh, what's what's this little girl's name on Facebook everywhere that got fired for fucking like six different cops? My hero. I love that girl, man. Like, Megan, I mean, Megan something. I don't know what the fuck her name is. I don't know her is, last but. name either, but if she does have an OnlyFans, I would like to be a part of that. Mm-hmm. And support yeah, her I mean, because I mean, you live in Tennessee. Come up here to Virginia. <laughs> hop on our podcast. I mean, I know your story. I know a lot of people got a lot to say about it. A lot of people think it's just sad and ridiculous and she's trifling. But I don't know. I just think people should do what they want to do. I think the only problem with it is that she did it at work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because I think you should be able to have sex with whoever you want to, as long as you're doing it. In, yeah. in, in the in the, uh, the manner of adulthood, you're an adult. Yeah, yeah. Y'all should be able to get a hotel mm-hmm. yeah, or wherever yeah. you want to do. You're it. not hurting anybody, and you you ain't out there turning tricks on our motherfucking tax paying dime. <laughs> damn it, that's my problem with you. Know what I'm saying, but shout out to her, man. I, I appreciate what you're doing. Just keep up the good works. But uh, you yeah, know. keep supporting the uh, people who uh, <laughs> protect and serve. Yeah, apparently. If that's what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. You got anything else you want to touch on today? I think that's about it. I, uh, you know, I got a lot of shit I need to delete off my phone, so I don't want to <laughs> record too long and get yeah, cut off. But can't be losing footage, man. Mm-hmm. But we're definitely gonna um, gonna get in touch with our, our local folks and, and oh, start yeah. doing these interviews for these businesses, oh, yeah. as well as getting more interviews for our artists and things of that nature. Yep. Y'all stay tuned because Welcome to Virginia is still going strong and we coming right at you. You know what I'm saying? Till next time. It's your boy Jim Cat. It's your boy Todd. Welcome to, to Virginia. Virginia. Peace. Peace. Welcome to Virginia. Welcome, welcome to Virginia. Virginia. Welcome to 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 Virginia.